Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming to this seminar. Uh, I'm Honda, uh, professor of the uh, Energy Analytics Division of ISNA. Uh, today's uh, we are very happy uh, because uh, we take the excellent speakers, Dr. Akai Makoto. And uh, uh, regarding his uh, career and histories, uh, you can see in this paper. As you know, uh, Dr. Akai's uh, working field is very wide. And uh, uh, he is uh, 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 one of the top uh, uh, one of the, uh, the top uh, researchers concerning the energy system analysis, including hydrogen uh, energy system and CCS technologies. And uh, uh, he is uh, uh, he uh, he had uh, greatly uh, contributed to uh, make a. Uh, uh, ultra super long term energy vision of Japan's uh, called uh, 2100 uh, visions. Okay? Uh, today's uh, theme is uh, a discussion of uh, um, energy portfolio of Japan's under in new needs. Okay, uh, start, uh, we will start in the professor. Akai, please. Thank you, Dr. Honda, uh, for the kind introduction. As uh, indicated by uh, Dr. Honda, um, this is the title of my presentation. I, I used this title recently in uh, several places, uh, which includes, also, of course, a uh, Japanese uh, presentation or Japanese lecture. I think uh, before the Fukushima uh, nuclear accident, there was the safety, uh, so-called safety myth of the nuclear power. But after the uh, March 11 last year, for me, the prevailing uh, new myth, uh, which is called absolute dangerousness of the nuclear power. So uh, I really think that we, we not, not just we, but also all the uh, general uh, Japanese uh, public still cannot uh, make a, uh, a discussion on the uh, energy portfolio in the sound manner or in a polite manner. So uh, for me, uh, the current situation is uh, that, uh, a little bit confusing or controversial or uh, hysterical situation uh, is still uh, going in, the, in Japan. So uh, this is the self-introduction, so you can look at this uh, after my lecture. Uh, this is a brief content of my talk today. Uh, firstly, I, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, brief uh, uh, policy development history before uh, Fukushima accident. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to uh, make some a uh, brief introduction to the uh, situation just after Fukushima uh, nuclear, power accident, nuclear power plant accident and until now. And uh, may, you may uh, know that uh, the Japanese government has released a uh, new energy policy, uh, I think it's uh, last, last week. So I. I'll make a, uh, several comments on that. And then uh, I have to talk a little bit about CCS. And 
uh, with public perception issues. And I'll conclude my talk. Uh, this is the uh, brief outline in recent, uh, in recent several years uh, on the development of energy policy or energy uh, R&D policy uh, just before uh, March uh, 11 uh, last year. As uh, Dr. Honda mentioned, uh, this, is, uh, this story started uh, from the uh, development of Energy Technology Vision 2100. Uh, this is a, a not so official uh, government, uh, governmental document, but uh, I think all of the uh, energy policy, or especially uh, energy technology policy afterwards, uh, this refers to the uh, technology uh, inventories or technology roadmaps uh, which we developed uh, here uh, in the phase of developing uh, or discussing the uh, energy technology vision 2100 that is released uh, seven years ago. And uh, after that, uh, after several years from this, uh, the Japanese government released uh, strategic energy ah, before that. Uh, it, uh, I think it's um, two, uh, five years ago, uh, there was a uh, Japanese prime minister called uh, Mr. Abe, who might be the next prime minister after the uh, general election, he uh, proposed a new concept. New concept, I mean, he, he just he or his uh, politicians consider it's new, but it's not a new concept. But uh, yeah, he said that he uh, proposed the concept of cool us, cool, uh, cool us uh, initiative. Uh, which uh, mentioned that uh, Jap Japan or the developed country should uh, cut its carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas uh, emissions 50% uh, by uh, 2050. Uh, after that, uh, in, in the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, uh, we have developed uh, cool as an innovative energy technology program uh, that identified uh, 20, 21 important technology to contribute to the uh, significant reduction of the carbon dioxide in, in the year 2050. And uh, this, from that moment, uh, the, this uh, is the one of the uh, reference materials to uh, negotiate with uh, uh, Japan's uh, Ministry of Finance to get around the budget uh, for the MIDI and for the uh, other organizations. And uh, then uh, the, uh, in uh, June 20, uh, 2010, uh, new uh, strategic energy plan has released, which is just uh, actually the revision of the uh, old uh, version of the strategic energy plan, which uh, was developed, I think, th three years ago, uh, I mean, uh, 2007. And uh, this strategic, strategic, strategic energy plan clearly describe the uh, target for 2030, uh, I mean the reduction of carbon dioxide at 2030, uh, or the decarbonization, uh, significant uh, decarbonization of the uh, electric sector. I mean, the, uh, it said that uh, 
uh, carbon uh, specific uh, carbon dioxide emission from carb uh, uh, ah, no, no. Uh, at least 70 percent of the uh, electric power uh, generation te technology should be zero emission type by uh, 2030. But it, uh, as you know, it includes uh, uh, totally more than 70 uh, nuclear power uh, plant plus a little bit of uh, renewables like PV or uh, wind. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, energy technology program uh, had been uh, uh, revised or uh, renewed or elaborated, uh, reflecting the concept of this strategic energy plan released uh, in 2010. And uh, just just before the uh, we uh, uh, just before the release of this new innovative energy technology program, the uh, earthquake, big earthquake in the uh, eastern island, uh, eastern part of Japan, has occurred. So the, all the uh, this plan is uh, just. Uh, 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 put down into the uh, or stocked in the uh, uh, bookshelf or <laughs> and or under the uh, uh, table. But anyway, uh, we uh, I think uh, this is a, a good document. So uh, maybe within a few months or within a one or two years. I think uh, th this new energy technology program might might be uh, open to the uh, public, especially when Mr. Abe becomes a prime minister, <laughs> because this is uh, he, uh, this is based on his uh, initiative. So, uh, as uh, Honda san mentioned that uh, for me i i think the uh, this energy technology vision 2100 it's uh, most is one of the most uh, important work which i ever uh, done in the uh, for my uh, 30, around 30 years career uh, contributing to the METIS uh, or METIS uh, energy policy development. The important point is that this is just, uh, I think this is the first uh, version of the uh, this type of uh, vision, uh, long-term vision, which was uh, released officially from uh, Medi, as indicated by its name, the time frame uh, is to 2100. And the important point is that it uh, clearly set the reduction target of greenhouse gas. Uh, in Japan, or in the uh, war, in the uh, in the uh, world, uh, for Japan, for example, it says that uh, it is. I don't know. The when we uh, translate the target uh, described in this uh, vision, the. Target value of reduction in 2100 is 80 percent, around 80 percent. So, but as you know, the current, uh, I think, it, uh, current commitment of Japanese Prime Minister uh, in the global arena is that 
Japan will uh, cut greenhouse gas uh, 80% by 2050. This is the uh, official, uh, this is referred in the official uh, statement by Prime Minister, by two Prime Ministers. One is uh, Mr. Hatoyama, and the second was Mr. Khan. He, they mentioned this, per, uh, this figure in the uh, uh, global or international arena on the uh, discussion of uh, climate uh, change issues. That means, for me, uh, I've been involved uh, in the discussion of this uh, new energy or environment strategy, but for me, it's just um, uh, squeezing the, uh, the de already developed uh, vision uh, 70 years ago, that is uh, uh, energy technology vision 2100. And uh, in the discussion, especially in the Ministry of uh, Environment, uh, they, uh, the uh, staff of the Ministry, Ministry of Environment has been referred to this uh, energy technology vision 2100 report. Uh, even now, it's uh, 70 years old, but uh, the content is not so different from the current situation. So uh, I'm going to talk another thing. So I skip several uh, slides. Uh, this is the uh, uh, this figure if I, uh, illustrate the our. Uh, the process of our uh, thought exper ex experiment. It's an, I think it's a <laughs> Gedanken experiment in Germany. Uh, we, uh, firstly, we have discussed the future energy or electricity demand, and then uh, we uh, discussed. Uh, we made a dis detailed discussion on the supply structure, considering the uh, three uh, extreme uh, situation that is firstly based on nuclear, uh, fossil fuel, and then nuclear and uh, renewables. So this kind of discussion is again uh, have been done in this in the past uh, one year uh, in the consideration in the uh, development of new energy policy. So anyway, uh, those two cases, uh, th those three cases are uh, very extreme conditions. So we cannot be, uh, or I don't want to be a any extreme case. We are, I think we are now in around here and the, uh, the First, uh, basic energy or basic energy strategy or basic uh, a strategic energy plan developed in 2010. Uh, try to make uh, uh, our society toward this line, and then uh, by by. Uh, Restructuring the, restructuring the energy supply and demand structure toward this line, and then uh, to make uh, deep reduction uh, of the carbon dioxide from the energy sector. That is the one way. And the current energy policy tend to try to move our society into, uh, along this line for the uh, renewable, renewable with uh, deep uh, energy saving or energy conservation or rush, uh, energy, uh, uh, rational use of energy. Uh, there are some illustrations uh, which indicate the uh, extreme case uh, in the, uh, with uh, some uh, typical figures like uh, 
uh, when we heavily depend on the fossil fuel with carbon uh, CCS, we have to uh, capture and store uh, around 4 billion carbon dioxide uh, per year. That is, uh, uh, I think it's um, uh, more than, uh, I, 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 more than three times uh, of the, uh, the current total emission by uh, from Japan. Of course, this is impossible. So, uh, but we can imagine what kind what kind of society can uh, should be if we set this. Uh, we, if we consider these uh, extreme condition. But the important point is that uh, when we, con uh, we try to uh, reduce carbon dioxide emission 80%, eventually we cannot emit carbon dioxide uh, in the demand sector. Because there, there are or there will be a, uh, inherent fugitive emission from the demand sector. So uh, for me, 80% reduction is uh, equal to 100% reduction. When we, uh, we have to reduce all, uh, em carbon dioxide emission in every technology or every sector we, uh, which we, we uh, were we apply uh, some technology or, uh, or some measures. Otherwise, we cannot achieve 80% reduction. That means uh, the demand side energy supply should be, or uh, I mean the secondary energy supply should be uh, only by electricity or fuel, oh no, no, or hydrogen, or uh, that might be a contra controversial discussion, but, or biomass. And that is the uh, important uh, uh, conclusion uh, for the 80% uh, uh, reduction uh, society. This is the second one, it's a nuclear option, and the, uh, this is the third option. Uh, based on the renewable uh, uh, energy supply with extreme uh, energy saving. In any case, uh, as I mentioned before, all the demand side uh, energy should be supplied by hydrogen or electricity. That's all. No, we cannot use uh, gas. I'm sorry, Dr. Honda, <laughs> but uh, we cannot use gas because we, uh, gas, uh, city gas emits uh, carbon dioxide and demand size. So in the long run, we have to change that situation when, when we really want to uh, reduce uh, carbon dioxide emission by 80% or more. Uh, this is the um, main findings of this scenario study in the, develop, uh, in the development of uh, 20, uh, energy technology uh, vision 2100. First one is energy efficiency is the key, of course. And uh, another important point, we, we made some uh, scenario uh, analysis study uh, using energy uh, modeling or something like that. And uh, Uh, from that uh, kind of study, uh, coupled with uh, the discussion with, by the uh, experts, fossil fuel case with CCS would contribute to deep reduction of carbon dioxide and uh, hydrogen economy, but might not be a truly sustainable option from the viewpoint of uh, resource depletion. And another important point is that nuclear and CCS uh, for the mid-term technology, not long-term technology, as a mid-term or short-term, I mean, 
CCS is not a long-term technology, it's a short-term or mid-term technology. would increase the flexibility of energy supply and demand structure with moderate cost. Uh, it, uh, most of the people say that CCS is an expensive technology, but compared with uh, current technology, uh, like uh, current zero emission technology, like uh, photovoltaic or fin, uh, clearly carbon, uh, carbon dioxide capture and storage CCS is cheaper when we uh, evaluate the abatement cost by the technology. Uh, the, for example, uh, the typical study indicates that when we uh, reduce or uh, avoid the carbon, uh, carbon dioxide, one ton of carbon dioxide emission by using CCS, the cost would be uh, around 7,000 yen per ton of CO2. Uh, it's around uh, 70 percent, uh, 70 dollars or 70 euros uh, per, uh, per ton of CO2. But when we try to uh, reduce or uh, <coughs> reduce carbon dioxide by using solar photovoltaic, current solar photovoltaic technology, the cost would be more than, I think, more than 40,000 yen per ton of CO2. Uh, five, five, or four hundred dollars per ton of CO2, or uh, in the uh, my institute in uh, AIST in Tsukuba, uh, the the uh, I think it's several years ago, six or seven years ago, uh, the one megawatt of carbon uh, solar photovoltaic. Uh, plan, uh, solar photovoltaic system was installed in the uh, uh, Tsukuba area. The when uh, calculating the abatement cost by that one megawatt of uh, solar photovoltaic, uh, I found that cost was. Um, Far more than four hundred dollars. It uh, uh, sixteen hundred dollars per ton of carbon dioxide. That is that was built several several uh, uh, years ago. I think six or seven years ago. So I want to I want to say that the I'm not. I don't have an intention to against solar photovoltaic or wind or uh, other uh, technology, but we have to consider the technology uh, improvement. Uh, for example, uh, when I bought the uh, key, a new uh, flat TV several years ago. It cost uh, 500,000, more than 500,000 yen uh, to purchase uh, around 50, I don't know, 40 inches of, I don't know, 30 inches of uh, uh, flat TV, but it cost, it cost uh, less than seventy dollars, or around fifty dollars. Ah, no, no. Uh, Five hundred dollars. We can buy the thirty around thirty inches of flat TV now, just within several years. Uh, so I think I'm not against to invest. Uh, the our current uh, uh, government policy to invest or to make uh, a necessary p 
policy for the introduction of uh, solar photovoltaic or uh, wind. But I want to say it's still costly. So my uh, standpoint is that, of course, it's OK. It's nice to invest a certain amount to introduce uh, so, uh, the new technologies uh, to stimulate the uh, production and then uh, lead to the uh, reduction of the uh, production cost. It's OK. But be careful not to invest too much on that technology, because that brings about the uh, technology locking to the very high cost solar photovoltaic or uh, wind energy system for at least 20 years from now. For example, if, if we, uh, I, I mean the uh, current, uh, current uh, solar photovoltaics abatement cost for carbon dioxide is, uh, I mean, I said uh, about 400. US dollar per ton, of per ton of carbon dioxide. But it might be uh, $200 within 10 years or 15 years, and uh, $100 within 30 years or something like that. So I think the, we need a sound or, uh, or uh, sound uh, technology or sound investment policy for that kind of new technology, considering the lifetime of the technology and uh, the uh, progress or technology progress or cost down of the that kind of technology. So that, that is what uh, I want to say today. So uh, I already said the result. I, I think we have to construct sound and flexible energy portfolio for the future. That is the point I want to say. So uh, the second or third, uh, second topic I want to uh, introduce you is what happened after Fukushima nuclear accident. Uh, this is the illustrate uh, what kind of uh, plants or big uh, big facility uh, related to energy has been uh, suffered from uh, earthquake and tsunami. Uh, as you can see here, there are a lot of uh, power stations other than Fukushima was uh, uh, suffered damage from uh, earthquake and tsunami. And this is just a, a, a nuclear power plant, but uh, you can see there are far more uh, Generation capacity has suffered from the uh, catastrophic earthquake on uh, March 11, plus uh, other uh, facilities like uh, refineries or uh, liquefied natural gas terminal. But uh, most of the plants have been retrieved within several months. Uh, some of the uh, plants have been retrieved before the summer of uh, uh, last year to uh, considering the uh, significant uh, decrease, uh, significant uh, shortage of power supply in the uh, Kanto area at the time and Kanto and Tohoku area at the time. I, uh, frankly, I, I want to I say that 
maybe top management of the Tokyo Electric Power Company had made a big mistake uh, on the Fukushima for the Fukushima, uh, that in leads to the uh, Fukushima accident, I believe. But uh, I really respect the uh, staff of the Tokyo Electric Power Company for their effort to retrieve this damaged power plant within a very short time. I know some of them, but all, almost all, all uh, most of them have very little time to sleep, or very little time to take a rest, or no holidays for these uh, three or four months to uh, make, uh, to uh, retrieve the damaged plant into operation within several uh, months. But no media in Japan do not uh, take such kind of uh, respectable effort to the uh, to uh, release for the uh, to the uh, general public. This is the, um, but still, uh, 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 there was significant shortage of power supply, in especially in Kanto area last year. Uh, I think uh, most of you uh, in this uh, Kyushu area last year. So uh, I'm not sure what uh, who who knows the situation in Tokyo uh, last year. Uh, the uh, the town or city center of Tokyo is uh, was very dark in the night. Uh, the very few uh, lightnings in the Tokyo uh, in the, uh, in the uh, metropolitan area in the night time. And we had a uh, very hot summer, hot uh, circumstances in uh, almost all the buildings. Uh, uh, two in the three elevators have stopped, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, the uh, stopping of the elevator had no uh, uh, actual effect on the uh, cut, uh, uh, reduction of the uh, electric power uh, demand, but almost everyone has tried uh, was tried to uh, cut electricity usage last summer. It was terrible summer for me uh, because I hate the. Uh, hot, uh, uh, hot atmosphere, and this year, I think uh, another uh, other problems has occurred because last year the some of the nuclear power station has was uh, has been operated, but uh, I think uh, in May of this year. The all the nuclear power station in Japan has been had uh, was were uh, stopped uh, for the uh, scheduled maintenance, and uh, as you remember, there are a lot of uh, controversial discussions on the restarting of the uh, stop, uh, stopped uh, nuclear power station in the Kansai area. After the uh, uh, difficult decision by the prime uh, by uh, by the prime minister, the two of the uh, nuclear power station in Kansai area has uh, returned to operation after the uh, uh, scheduled uh, maintenance. And uh, thanks to that, the uh, 
there are no power cut or blackout in the area of Kansai uh, this summer because uh, even it was a rel relatively hot summer. Uh, this is uh, some of the impacts uh, from the Fukushima accident. There are all, always possibility of forced restriction of uh, electricity use that was uh, eventually uh, in Tokyo area. The uh, there was a, a lot. Uh, in last summer, in Tokyo area, the uh, forced restriction of electric electricity use in uh, large uh, or big enterprises. And we had experienced a rotating blackout just after the uh, earthquake. Uh, I think, uh, in, uh, at least in, in, the, in March last year. But uh, there, there has been uh, already a risk of a manageable uh, blackout, but fortunately we, we don't have such kind of uh, accidental blackout so far. But there are another, uh, other uh, problems. Uh, Led by uh, uh, followed by following by following the uh, Fukushima accident or uh, the uh, uh, st stop of the uh, nuclear power plant. One is the uh, this is a typical figure that when we replace uh, nuclear power plant by fossil plant fossil one. This is. Uh, in average, we need one billion U.S. dollar per year to replace one big uh, nuclear power plant to pay for fuel. Especially in the uh, in natural uh, the natural gas market or uh, natural gas price for Japan after Fukushima accident has increased uh, rapidly, so. That is the, uh, still the burden to the all the electric uh, utility company in Japan, um, and uh, based on my scenario study, uh, uh, the carbon dioxide emission from power sector in 2020 will be at least uh, 50 to 250 million ton higher compared with business as usual, usual case, but it uh, of course depends on the how, how much the, uh, how can I reduce the, uh, how much we can reduce the uh, electric, electricity demand in, by the year 2020 and how much uh, zero emission uh, technology we can introduce. Uh, into the grid, I mean the uh, mainly the renewables. Oh, this is the uh, slide for social response to Fukushima accident. Uh, the first one is, one is of course short-term uh, response, but especially the local and uh, general public in Japan. That is uh, evacuation or uh, food, water, batteries, or something like that. And but the more importantly, uh, mid to long term uh, impact is would be impact would be more serious than the short term ones. Uh, that is uh, of course. Uh, as you know, the, uh, there are many people uh, who have to uh, make long-term evac evacuation from the plant area. And another uh, serious problem, or but uh, serious, but uh, 
uh, stupid problem spreading fear for radiation. No, uh, it's just an, uh, based on the uh, rumors or something like that. And uh, another uh, is one is the uh, discussion or uh, lengthy discussion for the energy portfolio in the future from now. Uh, this is the uh, slide. These are the slides uh, based on the uh, recently released uh, innovative strategy for energy and the environment uh, released by the Energy and Environmental Council uh, in, uh, under the Japanese government. But uh, uh, this says, uh, ah, yeah, this slide uh, shows the process to develop the uh, strategy. Uh, there are s three uh, consulting body that had been involved to develop this, uh, uh, to provide the basic data or idea uh, to this strategy. That is Atomic Energy Commission. Uh, and the second one is uh, Advisory Committee for Energy and Natural Resources under the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry, and the uh, Central Environment Council under the Ministry of uh, Environment. Uh, those three uh, consulting body have developed uh, the future uh, scenario or uh, roadmaps uh, for, for the uh, energy or environmental issues based on their own uh, experiences uh, or knowledge. Uh, I've been involved uh, for, especially for these uh, two uh, processes. And after that, the uh, Energy and Environmental Council summarized these information to, to provide uh, options for a strategy for energy and the environment for the uh, future, I mean, until 2030, uh, to make this option open to the public, inviting comments from public and reading uh, public uh, discussion in the or public hearings that's it at, uh, in 11 places na uh, nationwide um, on every weekend from July to mid-August but I'm, uh, I have to mention that all uh, these English are not uh, written by myself just 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 derived from the uh, governmental website uh, website from government so uh, even for me some of the uh, English uh, uh, ter terminology might be uh, curious or uh, so but uh, it's not my responsibility it's uh, some translators responsibility entrusted from the Japanese government or the ministries but uh, from July to uh, end of August, uh, the uh, Energy and Environmental Council in, uh, invites all the comments from various areas. But important point is that those comments that has been uh, coming from the uh, public in a voluntary basis. So, uh, for example, I didn't, I, I haven't uh, make a comment to these uh, uh, options. Or some of the 
uh, an, uh, other energy expert, my colleagues and my uh, my colleagues are, have not uh, make comment, have, um, have not made a comment on this uh, uh, inquiry from the government. But some of the people, uh, most of the uh, anti-nuclear colleagues submitted their comment to this uh, public inquiry from the government. So the uh, so my point is that uh, you can uh, or media or uh, general public consider that this is very uh, fair process uh, and the uh, results of the public inquiry. Uh, or invitation of the public, public comment, com, uh, com, uh, comment is a very fair process, but the uh, I think the population of the uh, opinion uh, of the people or public who submit their opinion to this inquiry, the body of that population is a little bit biased because they want to say something anti-nuclear. Those kind, those people, um, those people have been have uh, submit the, their opinion for the public inquiry. But other, most of the energy experts, uh, individual scientists, uh, not. Uh, submit their opinion to this process. Uh, this is the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, date, data or uh, information provided to the public to invite their comments on the options, or, or, uh, to invite uh, comments for the options. So uh, from now on, there uh, I. I uh, refer to the summary of the innovative strategy for energy and environment. It says clearly that uh, under the current government, uh, we have we uh, uh, realize a society not dependent on uh, nuclear power. So you can you can read it afterwards. And I want to talk something about CCS. Uh, this is the uh, energy technology perspectives uh, released from in the International Energy Agency every two years. It said that uh, it be, uh, make an analysis of uh, 50 hours for the uh, term. Uh, until 2050, setting uh, several scenarios for the carbon dioxide emission in the future. It, and it says that uh, CCS should uh, have to, should contribute at least 20% uh, of the total reduction effort uh, to uh, achieve uh, sustainable future, that means uh, 2D scenario, which uh, limit the uh, global average temperature within t 2 degrees centigrade limit uh, compared with the current uh, situation. But it also says the progress in clean energy is too slow, especially the uh, CCS. Uh, technology de uh, deployment of CCS technology is seriously off, play, off pace to reach uh, the sustainable goal. That is the most strong or important message from this uh, interesting book called ETP to, uh, 2012. 
I have made some uh, energy scenario analysis for the several years considering uh, the uh, future scenarios after Fukushima accident, but I want to skip considering time. And there are also a public perception studies uh, carried out by my institute and other media uh, study survey has been on the uh, seat in front of you. I think the most important point uh, after the Fukushima accident is that, of course, government has lost its trust from the public. It's a natural, very straightforward uh, things. And of course, uh, they are they're continuing to uh, losing uh, trust from the uh, public. But the, for us, or for you, it's very important that the trust in experts or scientists has been decreasing after the Fukushima accident. That is very important point, and I really concern that the current situation. So I, for me, I think we have to wait another several several years or ten years to retrieve uh, the public trust or or uh, credibility of the scientists or experts. Not only the experts on nuclear sector, but also other sectors, uh, especially dealing with controversial technology like uh, CCS. There are, of course, some very stupid, uh, that is the uh, general public, a rumor we can see in Kyoto, and processing of non-radiative -radi uh, debris. Uh, I'll conclude some uh, my talk by saying not the technological things, but uh, some uh, general things uh, closely related to strategy. Uh, after the uh, uh, my, my observation after the especially after the Fukushima accident is that. There are very poor knowledge of politicians on energy issues. And of course, or in the general public, and there are a lot of emotional discussion on energy portfolio. And I always, always uh, many times I pointed out that there are harm of the argument by non-expert intellectuals who are not, who might be ex, uh, intellectuals, but who do not understand energy. Those kind of uh, so-called experts uh, speak too much after the Fukushima accident in, uh, in TV or newspapers or something like that. I think this is very harmful for the scientist community. And as I mentioned in the uh, very fast, uh, uh, first in the, my talk, the new emerging myth. So, uh, this is the, I, I think these are the, our uh, task or our uh, issues to be resolved, but uh, still I be, uh, I'm a little bit skeptical about the in, uh, improvement of this situation. So uh, I think it might be an impossible dream for me. That's all, thanks. I'm sorry not to take a long, longer time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Akai.